I think that the difference between the residential scare and the commercial real estate crisis is that people felt very personally involved with residential real estate. With commercial real estate, they feel like somebody big must own it. They don't really think that their aunt and uncle own an office building. When in truth, in America, a lot of entrepreneurs do own office buildings. I think the best way to look at residential versus commercial in this case is that the bank didn't own the note on the residential, he sold it. So if somebody has a bad loan, their loan could be held by a family uh, trust in Germany today. The commercial market, the notes are held by the local banks. So when I talk about the, the, the pain felt community-wide, it's because that particular bank does not have the money to cover that loan and then lend any more money out to the community. The commercial crisis is here to stay. In fact, the local and regional banks that own the commercial paper don't want to even talk about it. So I think the best way of looking at it right now is that they're just hoping that they're, they're going to ignore it and hope that it goes away. Because in truth, if they can hold on to the note long enough and the building's worth something again, then maybe the notion of not looking at it too hard right now is going to work. The banks do not want to own a commercial portfolio right now, or ever. As this recession is, has gone on and spread, and the headlines about joblessness has been almost a daily uh, occasion, um, I believe that the 90% the of the people who, who are employed act like the 10% who are not. I think that we've shown extraordinary caution, extraordinary fear for the future. And because of that, we aren't making investment decisions. And a home is a big investment decision, probably the largest you'll make in your lifetime. It's an awful way to get to a good thing, but we now have a system that wants documented loans, that wants down payments, that wants people to be able to show that they have an employment history, a credit history, and whatever. All things that during the last big run-up just went by the wayside. Liar loans are a thing of the past.